Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video based on the request few of people keep asking me they want to see what's inside the the camera the the famous the what do you call this one the wise cam these are the uh, c1 this is version one uh, wise cam i put a tape on my uh, my mac id here this one is a w y z e c1 wise cam these are really nice and solid cameras they last you a very long time they come with a magnet on the bottom you can support and they rotate but this is not a review video i'm just gonna show you guys how to tear it apart how to open it up and take everything and take a look inside if you want to repair the power jack or you change do any modification i'm just going to show you guys how to take it apart to the last bit all right first we got the cables we got the charger we are not going to do anything with those and here on the bottom part usually there's a sticker you can lift up the sticker and then you're going to see a three screws right there and the other two screws that we can only see is right at the bottom case right there and there's a hinge screw right here if your hinge is really soft you can tighten up the hinge right there it will get a little, a little bit tougher so first we're going to start from the bottom magnet right here so it's magnetized so i can put a knot right there and it will just hold it but it will not hold its Wait, it does hold a little bit, but it still kind of slides down a little bit. It is kind of powerful, so I wonder if it's a dynamite, what kind of magnet it is. So let's see what's in there. So we're going to open it up. Before we open it up, uh, we're going to need a few tools. I'm going to be using a screwdriver set for iFixit screwdriver set, as they have one of the best bits out there. We're going to be using a Phillips number one and Phillips double zero from this, this screwdriver set all right let's keep this to one side we're gonna need a pair of tweezers uh flat tweezers and opening tool. for opening tool i'm gonna use a guitar pick a metallic guitar pick are really suitable to opening electronics cases covers like that all right did all those sets so first you're gonna peel off the bottom sticker there should be a sticker simply as this one just rip it apart we're going to grab our Phillips screw and we're going to remove these three screws on the bottom. Once we remove the screws, there should be a little space in here. You have to stick it really hard in there. Just stick it right there, cover it and then lift it up and the cover should come out pretty easy. So this is a very tiny cover. And we can see a magnet is an oxidized magnet is a traditional magnet is not a any special magnet what makes it really strong that they put two pieces of metal on the sides so these metals act as an extra pool on the magnet so just a square magnet uh, with two parts of the metal these metals are magnetized they're not even magnetized you get two of them one on each side so with that one finished let's go ahead and remove the hinges removing this screw right here on the side and just pull it out there's one there and the nut right on the other side will come out pretty easy obviously my magnet doesn't like anything around it all right so we got the hinges here and this one right there so there should be some screws under this rubbers right here so we can remove this one yeah there's a tiny screws right there so we can do it so we're doing a full disassembly so let's go ahead and remove these four rubber legs on the bottom so this is pretty nicely made it, they're actually using a screws a lot covers now let's see if we can remove this cover right there so there we go. it just slides out 
cover and another hinge another screw right there so again this one comes out pretty easy it doesn't want to come out too much so i'm going to push it out from this side there we go there we have the screw for that and that's it so this is the hinge and those are the screws for this cover on the bottom now we're gonna go work around here so we got this 360 degree rotation tripod leg cover here so we're gonna remove the two screws right on the top that we can see cover is not budging out so we're gonna stick the opening tool just lift it up from here the back side a little bit other side the cover should come out pretty easy so there's your 360 you want to take it apart remove these two screws you can remove the metal here this metal actually helps there it's not magnetized or anything like that a little bit magnetized it has very little bit because of it was touching the metal on the cover so yeah so there's your cover on here and the cover on the bottom now down here we got the shield i can see there's a shell so there's a one big huge box with a back door with a line on here so that means it can get opened i see tiny hinges underneath inside right there so I don't know if you guys can see those hinges in the back. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna peel it off to the side. So once you pull it away, it should come out and while you're pulling it, remove this cover. Just let's pull it. Be careful, there's a speaker right here and it comes to this connector right over here. So we're gonna remove this jack by pulling it out. The jack only goes in one way and there's your speaker that usually doesn't work on this one when you try to speak through so remove the two screws for the speaker and remove the cover this one is a simple very very simple speaker you can see it has a little adhesive has a tiny adhesive around it this one they use it usually in a tablet low grade tablet so there's your speaker and then there's nothing else in here all right uh, moreover right here we got the whole board the processor unit the wi-fi board right there i see an antenna that goes right to this tape right here this is a copper tape so we're just gonna peel it out the antenna so we're gonna remove this one bring it over remove the wi-fi cable right here so there's your Wi-Fi cable. Next, we're gonna remove the whole unit. By there is one screw that goes right through here and holds it from the case right here. So we need to remove that screw, and this screwdriver will not reach there. So I'm just gonna grab a a really tiny screwdriver, a Phillips, and we're gonna unscrew the one in there. And there we go. Once you remove that screw, we're just gonna grab it from here. First, pull it out a little bit so the lens can come out and bring out. The whole lens unit is the same one from here, so this is a big hole right there. And there's not much in here, and that's it pretty much here. Now, I always said, what is this plastic here doing? Like, a, it actually does nothing, absolutely. There's no sensors or anything right there. This other one is a microphone right there, and the light sensor is right over here. So light sensor, microphone, and this one on the bottom is absolutely nothing. All right, so that's the top cover. Down here we is pretty much a sandwich of the three layer sandwich here. So the
and process unit and everything else. So that's the top part. On the second layer, we have the flex cable that comes through here that attaches this one towards the main board. And again, it's held down by two screws. This screw right over here and this screw right on the other side. Once you remove these two screws, we can just lift up this one. And this is the lens right here. It's attached by a power cable that comes through here. So I'm gonna remove the power cable. So this is your lens. And in here, this is just a plastic and a few glasses to just reflect the angle. Um, we're gonna open this one in a bit. So let's leave this one to one side. And here pretty much, I don't know if you guys wanted me to remove this one, but there's two screws that holds this cover to the base. Okay, so there we go. So this is the cover, and this is the flex cable here. There's another chip right here, it's a programmable chip, and the SD card reader, the on off reset switch right over here, a few two LEDs, LED lights right in here. So Pretty much that's it in there. And over here, we have the lens. So to remove the lens, we're gonna remove two screws. These screws are different than the rest. So once you remove the screws, you can lift up. So there's your sensor. That's the video sensor, picture sensor, everything like that. So be careful, do not put grease on it. it has to be really clean. So I'm gonna put it upside down so the dust doesn't get into it, or let's just leave it up there, who cares. So this is your lens pretty much. So this power unit that comes through here, I don't know what it does. There's a power unit, there's a three screws right beside it. So let's go ahead and remove these three screws and see what's in there. I haven't gotten this far, so. It's telling me to know where this one is actually connecting to. Oh, it's probably a sensor, light sensor, I don't know. So we're just gonna lift it up gently. Oh, it's just a coil. There's a coil, there's a glass right there. So double glass coil. So, oh, this one is to just go over and it just, this is for a night vision. When you do night vision, it pretty much what it does, it just brings this one over and brings a clear one here. This is what did day, day, night, day, and night vision right there. So let's put it together nicely. I'm already messing it up. There we go. So that's the night vision and that's the day vision. So let's put it right away here. So pretty much this is it. This is what's inside an uh, wise camp C1 version, version one. All right, now what we're gonna do, we just gonna put it back together. Let's do it quickly. So grab this one with a coil, put this one right on top, lock it down, put the three tiny screws on top. So now that we know that night vision is not actually a software, is controlled physically by putting a, a different view on it. So I don't know what it is, an acrylic probably. It's like a sunglasses. So we're gonna grab this. We're gonna put this one right on top here. So I don't know which way was it. It was that way around or this way around. It makes no difference. So let's just put it together. Let me see. It's gonna go this way. Because of the shape of the box right here. It's the same shape of the box right there. All right, once we got this one ready, we wanna grab this and we wanna put it back together. Put the two screws for this one. All right, we're gonna grab this camera. 
I'm going to bring it over and we're going to set it down. I'm going to put the two screw for this one. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to put the flex cable here. Lock it down, connect the power cable for the coil right there. And we're going to grab this one over here. There's going to be two cables that are going on, one underneath, so it's this one. Plug this one right there. Bring it over. And connect the other one on top. Now we're going to put the two screws for this one. If you want to change the power jack on this one, the power jack is really rare power jack. The pins go through here. Through the back, so it's kind of weird one. Maybe you can adapt one, but it's kind of weird. So we're gonna grab the Wi-Fi cable here. We're gonna plug it in. Just snap it on top. Okay. So we got this one here. So let's put this one to one side. Grab the speaker. Mount the speaker back in. Put the speaker cover, the screw for the speaker right here. Let's put together the bottom case. Now let's put the bottom hinges right here. You can tighten it up, not too much. Otherwise it's going to be really stiff. Loosen up a little bit. There we go. Put the bottom screws on the cover. We want to grab the magnet. We're going to adjust the metal beside the magnet. Uh, we're going to place it right there. Put the cover for the magnet. There's one more spring that it comes out from here. So. In order to put this one, we need this one over here. So place this one through here. And put the bolt right on the other side. Don't tighten it up too much, just uh, pray them on so it just stays stiff. Alright. So you see that I did it, mine is just goes up and down, but when I rotate, this one stays like that. So that means I did something bad. So let's see what I messed up. The problem is in here. This one, we have to go the other way around. It's a backward, so remove this one. Remove this screw. And place it that way around. So now when you close it down, it will go to its original place. So we got that one here. So pretty much the rest, it should be very easy. Grab the camera, bring it down, set it down and push it through the hole right there. And grab the Wi-Fi antenna. Just bring it, align it. And just stick it to the walls right there. And pretty much that's it. Now we need to put the one screw that goes through the here to hold it in place. So place that screw right in there. There we go. Once you put that screw, pretty much we are done right now. We're gonna grab the the speaker. We're gonna plug in the speaker right here. Okay, we want to put it in the back side and just squeeze it right in there. And then squeeze both sides, that side, and this side. You should hear those click. And that's it pretty much. And the last thing would be to just grab the bottom cover, bring it over, put it right on top, 
smack it right in place and put the last two screws again i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out if it did please click the like button if you have any question or comment if you want me to open any other cameras or anything like that leave them in the comment area i'll try to answer them as soon as i can as always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video